General Manager of the, for the Carolina Panthers, Dan, thank you for the time today. Anytime, man. Good hey, to be here. Yeah, uh, first crumb by for you, right? Day one. So, wonder how it's been going for you. Were you able to get any sleep last night leading up to today? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, first combine as a first-time GM. So, uh, definitely very interesting and, you know, a lot of shaking hands and, <laughs> you know, congratulations. And, uh, you know, I'm just uh, I'm excited to get here, see some of the players that we've watched and been excited about, uh, get to know them a little bit. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's been a great experience so far. Now the combine is all about the college players, but the first one to touch on one of your existing players. So drum roll, yeah. Brian Burns. Yeah. What's the latest on Brian? How's that been going for you guys? Yeah, you know Brian's Brian's doing great. Um, you know, great player, great person. Obviously, um, we're going to meet with his representation down here, uh, get a better feel, you know, of our plans moving forward. Um, so we're going to have a lot more clarity once we leave here. What are the options currently that you're looking at for Brian? Is it going to be a franchise that you're looking at, or what are you looking at? I think at this point, I think everything's on the table. You know, whether it's the franchise tag, um, you know, extending him, tra you know, trades. You know, there. I think all options are on the table at this point. So you guys would take calls for those who may want to sign and trade. Well, not quite yet. Not quite. Um, okay. You know, again, once we meet with the with the agent and get a better feel for where he's at okay. and, you know, see it, see if it aligns with us, then uh, we'll have a better feel for that. Okay. So one of the nicknames I have is Man of the People. So I've got to ask some questions about the fans, right? Yep. So you are currently, you, you worked under Scott. Yep. Now you're the guy. Yep. So a lot of people wonder, like, you're Scott's understudy. How can things right. be different that we have the same guy that was in, the, in that room right. with this new guy? So talk me through well, that. Well, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really call myself his understudy. Okay. You know, I, I started out in Seattle, um, you know, as an intern and worked my way up to where I'm at now. Um, so I started from the, you know, ground bottom under John Schneider. Uh, Scott Fitter was out there in Seattle. Yeah. Uh, spent, you know, spent my career first seven years of my career out there as a pro scout uh, doing ad advances and then I get hired to Buffalo uh, under Brandon Bean and Joe Shane yep. who were both you know really good GMs at this point and then got hired you know to Carolina as the assistant GM uh, what was three years ago so um, you know I think I've learned from a lot of really good people a lot of talented um, evaluators and uh, uh, really good guys on the business side so mm -hmm. um, I feel those experiences have gotten me ready for this. Okay. This combine, talk a little bit more about it. What are you guys looking to get out of this combine this year? Yeah, I think it's really just about, you know, the guys that you've been watching on, on tape, the college guys is coming here. You get to spend 20 minutes um, with each guy in these interviews, uh, just getting to know them a little more, um, you know, not only as people, but also how they are from an X's and O's standpoint, how smart they are. Um, you know, just really just getting a better feel for, feel for the player and the person. Okay. Let me jump back to about the team overall. Identifying needs. I don't want you to say what are your top three, yeah. but if you could say what are three that you're really looking at. You don't have to put them in any order I for think, this team. Yeah, you know, I think we have a lot of needs. Um, you know, I think it's about building depth and competition on your roster and, um, you know, not just adding numbers, but adding quality players um, that you can win with. Um, so I, I think that's our focus right now is just adding really good football players to this roster that are passionate about what they do and, uh, you know, are, are smart players as well. All right, so let's talk about processes a little bit. You and yeah. Dave were first time working together. How are you guys? What's the process like with the conversations you've been having about his wants yep. and then the, the players that you're going to give him to fulfill those needs? It's been great. Um, you know, I think it's really been seamless. You know, just knowing Dave, uh, I think that obviously helps. Uh, our offices, we're, we're two doors down from each other in Seattle. We mm -hmm. worked together for seven years out there. Um, so philosophically, I think, you know, we both, you know, are aligned in, in what we want from a player standpoint, um, from a prototype standpoint. And then sitting with him and understanding what he needs to be successful from an offensive standpoint and then sitting with EJ on the defensive side of the ball and understanding what he needs, you know, being with him, it's a, you know, I have a year under my belt with him. So I understand what he wants a mm -hmm. lot better than kind of what Dave does. So um, Dave's been great to work with and, you know, I think the future is bright. All right. I know you got to go. So I've got just one more for you. Yeah. This draft, it's it's big. It's a lot of people around here. It's a lot of moving parts. Can you talk about the Panthers process as it goes from the scout to it eventually gets up to you and, and Dave to what your draft board looks like, what that process is, is like? Yeah, it's a it's a long process, and then you know the process starts you know back in during the summertime. Um, so we've been working on our draft board for many months now. Okay. Um, 
you know, as of, as of right now at the Combine, you know, our scouts are they're interviewing players. Um, you have formal and informal interviews. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, obviously we're doing the formal interviews in the room um, with the coaches, and then we have some informal interviews that our scouts are doing, you know, with each individual player. Okay. Um, we try to interview every single player here, uh, get something, get something on them, and then we'll come back, uh, you know, once we get done here at the Combine. We'll go, we'll go back in the draft room. We'll talk about things. We'll watch the workouts. Uh, we'll talk about the interviews and, um, you know, just really who stood out, uh, who didn't stand out, and kind of see who separated themselves. So could you say you guys may be going from a, a, a list of 500 now until at the end you want to get down to 100? Can you even yeah, put on I that? Yeah, I mean, you know, there's no specific number. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think on our draft board last year we might have had like 155 guys, I think, okay. uh, at the end of the day. but. I mean, in the beginning, you start with thousands of guys, and the, you know the process of really whittles it down to 150, 155 guys, which is kind of crazy to think of all the work you put in and all the work the scouts put in mm -hmm. um, that those numbers dwindle like that. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll wrap it up at that. Look forward to talking with you some more, but yeah, appreciate the time. Anytime, man. So that's Dan Morgan, Chris Jenkins from Charlotte Vibe. Thank you all so much. Awesome, man.